Good morning, everyone. How are you? Today, I'm going to show you how you can install uh, MySQL on Amazon Linux 2. As you know, Amazon Linux is not available on AWS anymore. So you need to choose to Amazon Linux 2 for installing uh, all your servers or database servers or web servers, etc. So I'm going to create a new tutorial for 2021 so that you can install MySQL on Amazon Linux 2. So let's get started. First, I am uh, in my dashboard. Mm, next, I'm going to create an instance. So I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 2. That's uh, the service. I will choose T2 Micro. That's falls into the free tier. Then I'm going to choose an IAM role. Um, EC2, SSM full access. Everything else, I keep it as it is. <coughs> Next, add storage. Add tags. At this moment, there is no tags. Security group, I just use an existing security group. Preview and launch. Launch. I have this key pair file, so let's launch the instance. Few instances. Okay, so it is still uh, launching. Okay, my instance is up and running. Let's click on the connect button. I'm going to connect using session manager, connect here. Meanwhile, it's connecting. Let's generate a strong password, which will be needed later on. Okay. Uh, still not connecting, just a moment. Sometimes it takes some time. Let's try to connect again. Yes, here it is. So I go to root privilege, update yum packages. Everything is up and running. Now I'm going to install <coughs> MySQL. In Amazon Linux 2, I'm, we need to do that using MariaDB. So sudo yum install MariaDB server. So it says MariaDB, that's fine, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes. Okay, let's clear the screen. So I have installed this. Now I'm going to uh, enable this. Sys ctl start maria db okay <clears throat> so i have started then sudo system ctl enable maria db that means uh, if my reboot if i reboot my server i will see that my my mysql server automatically started if i don't do this then for some reason if i shut down this uh, instance and then turn it on again i will see my mysql servers is turned off i need to manually start it which is not really a good thing so i suggest you always enable mariadb from system ctl that means when your server reboots it will automatically start your my SQL server. Then I need to secure this server. So what I have to do is to do, uh, I just check my command from this, uh, this website. This is my website. 
So do MySQL SQL installation. MySQL SQL in installation. Okay, not uh, enter the correct password for root. None for I don't have any passwords. Set root password. Yes, I want to set a root password. New password. I just want to copy from here. Copy. Paste. Okay, I have set password. <coughs> By default, a MariaDB installation has an anonymous user. Remove anonymous users. Yes, I don't want any anonymous users. Normally, root should be allowed to connect from localhost. This ensures that someone cannot guess at the root password from the network. These allow root login remotely. Yes, because this is only going to work from local. By default, MariaDB comes with a database name test that anyone can access, but I want to remove this. Reload the privilege table. Yep. That's it. So I have now secured MariaDB. Let's clear the screen. So I'm going to restart. Sudo systemctl restart MariaDB. Okay. Now let's try to connect it. MySQL minus U is root P. Uh, then I'm going to paste the password. That's it. We have connected to the MySQL server. So show databases. Here it is. Let's create a database. Create a schema. C H U M A. Um, ATIQR. So I have created a schema, and that's the schema. Use that database, use ATIQR. Okay, show tables. LS. Sorry, there is no tables here. So that's it, guys, I think. Okay, now another part I'm going to test is I going, I'm going to shut down this instance and then I'm going to check whether if I can connect to the server again without doing any kind of start. So let's shut down. Stop the instance. It will stop. I'm going to connect again and see if I can, uh, do I need to restart the server, MySQL server, or it is automatically started. It is shutting down. So let's be patience. Okay, this has been stopped. Great, now let's start it again. <laughs> this is uh, starting, might take one or two minutes. Just let's wait. By the way, you can, uh, go to my website and see uh, all those tutorials that I'm creating here. The tutorials for AWS, DevOps, Docker, Linux, and all sorts of things. Let's try to connect again. Okay, here it is. Go to root, then MySQL minus u root minus p. I'm going to copy the password again. Copy. 
Okay. Okay, that's it. I have now connected. So thank you for watching my video. I hope this helps you to get started with new Amazon Linux 2. And I wish you success in your AWS career. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.